What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we got a little day trading recap to go over. Check it out. All right, guys, so today started off just like every other single day that <laughs> that we start off in the market, uh, looking at my scanners, seeing what's going on, um, you know, what's hot, what's not. And we have a bunch of cheap stocks up a lot, making big moves. AKRX, show you that one. Look at that. From 20 cents up to almost 50 cents. Monster move. Uh, TRNX. Man, people were talking about this one when it was like 13 cents, but I, I don't trade these under dollar stocks well at all, um, unless I'm swinging them. And I was really considering, you know, doing a swing trade on TRNX when I saw all the attention it was getting. And look at this, like I knew about this at 13 cents. Look at this right here, I knew about this. And look at that move. Oh my God, it's at 40 something cents. Don't even wanna think about it. Don't wanna think about it um gene as well so i didn't trade any of those because you know they're not really something i can day trade i don't do well day trading those under a dollar stocks we had gene make a real nice move here off of these lows boom uh but it's been really choppy as you can tell these are three minute candles and look at these wicks tons of upper shadows there uh so I didn't trade any of those. These are my scanners, like I said. Uh, you can check out the link in the description section below for these scanners. This is Trade Ideas, and uh, there's a coupon code there for 15% off. So you can take advantage of that if you like. You can click the link and read more about them. Uh, so today what I did was I traded BA. And uh, before you're like, oh, another BA trade, you're not gonna wanna miss this trade. This is an A plus, picture perfect setup. If I saw this again tomorrow, well, tomorrow's Saturday, so that's not gonna work. Uh, if I saw this on Monday, I would trade it again. Like, there is no doubt in my mind that I would take this trade again on Monday. In fact, I added an extra uh, contract on this trade, still keeping my risk in control because of how good this setup really was. Okay, I mean, this setup was, was picture perfect. This is like the stuff that, like, okay, I, I know some of you, most of you probably don't fish or have a boat to go fishing, or if you have a boat, you don't fish, you just cruise around, etc. So most of you probably don't, you know, live down here in South Florida and go fishing often uh, uh, for dolphin, which is also known as mahi. But like when we go dolphin fishing, uh, we look for debris on the surface of the water because it brings in bait fish and bait, f especially in the summertime. And, and then the dolphin come in or the mahi come in to eat those those bait fish. So the things that are the things that dreams are made of for a fisherman out there is when you go out in the morning and you find yourself a bunch of seaweed and a pallet floating on the water like friggin' birds all over the place and you put out your lines and it's just full and fully covered with dolphin that's like an a plus setup for dolphin fishing that's the equivalent of this setup right here that i took on ba on boeing okay and uh i do have it live recorded and we're going to go over each and every step of this because this is perfect uh it failed and that's because no setup functions or works all the time it doesn't happen it's impossible if it did one would just trade that same setup over and over and over and over again until they become you know filthy rich uh, but setups don't work always they fail a percentage of the time okay and uh, this one failed today which was sad because it was beautiful so Boeing gapped up okay Boeing gapped up on twofold news one it gapped up with the market because of uh, Gilead uh, coming out with a new medication that, you know, can help people with the uh, ailment that's going around. You know, we don't say the name because it can demonetize the video, so we don't do that. Um, and it also said it was going to start uh, production in one of its plants. I don't remember in what state it was right now. I can't remember, but the PR was dropped yesterday in after hours and it caused Boeing to make a nice move coupled with that overall market move. And I mean, this is just an explosive move, you know, from $134 here uh, yesterday, right before the close, all the way today up to a high of $153, massive move. Um, so with the market gapping up, with Boeing having news, I thought to myself, you know what? Boeing is looking really strong because look at, look at the open on the market. The market opens up, check this out. Market opens up, dips, Boeing dips. Market bounces a little bit, 
Boeing bounces a whole lot. There's a lot of shorts in there. We have a good press release out, okay? So as the market starts to go up, Boeing continues going up, and then we start to pull it in. Okay, when we pull it in, we pull it in right here to this initial high right here. VWAP, which is this purple line right there that you see, okay? Let's zoom in a tad more. Purple line right here, VWAP. 90MA is right there, that blue line you see right there. And then I threw out my FIB levels, which I haven't done in a while, and I saw the 23.6 lining up here. Not to mention, this is that 150 level, okay? Let me get, oh, let's just go over to the daily. The 150 level coincides with this top, okay? This bottom, this top right here, okay? This bottom, a little bit of this top, just underneath. Okay, so you have a daily level there at that 150. So now you have the, a daily level on the 150. You have a whole dollar psychological 150 level. You have the 90 MA. You have VWAP. You have the 23.6 Fibonacci level. And you have this initial high here at the open. Six levels. Where do you see that? Six levels, all right, of potential support. That was a no brainer long no brainer long so i waited and believe me i was itching to jump into it right here and in this candle because i thought it wasn't going to dip down there and i said nope not going to do that we're going to sit here we're going to be patient and disciplined and wait for this pullback to come and test that vwap area and if it does we'll take a starter if it holds we'll add and if you like it a lot you can add up to your third contract which would have been my max here okay now, initially, when I entered my first contract, I, you know, knew where my stop was more or less. I knew I was risking about 100 bucks. When I entered my second contract and my third contract, the trade was kind of triggering. So I knew that I was going to move my stop further up and uh, see what happens. Now, we pull it in. We hold. I buy one contract. We hold on this second candle here. I add two more contracts as we start to push thinking, okay, now we're going to break through here and we're going to just grind our way back up to the highs and I'll sell on the way there and hold to one to see if we can get a push up to 155 or so. At the same time that this candle starts to open up, the SPY does this. Boom. And that was the end of that beautiful trade. That was it. And you would think, oh my God, you had three contracts. You must have lost like three, 400 bucks. Nope. Nope. Very manageable red day, $170 red. Uh, because as soon as I saw the SPY doing that action and I saw Boeing doing this, starting to break underneath my support zones, I stopped out of it right then and there. I stopped out of it instantly. I lost like 50 cents, you know? So here is the live recording. Where is it? I think it's this one. Oh no, this is after I stopped out. Okay, is this here we go. It's hard. It gets what is happening? Madness. There we go. Okay. <coughs> okay, there we go. Boom. Perfect. Okay, so you see, we came down. You see the zone. You see how we bounce right off of it? Nice wick. No problem. Boom. One contract. Limit order, $9.50. I get my fill. Okay. Now I switch over to market to bang out or add to it as needed. Let me get this uh, little mouse thing going here. We try to hold that level nicely. This next candle opens up. It holds the level, it goes green. I add a second contract. Oh, here I am looking at the daily again real quick. Oh, I guess it's not going to show. Okay, whatever. There we go. Looking at the SPY. I'm looking at the SPY, see what the SPY is doing. And I know we've gapped up huge, but there's so much euphoria in the market right now that everything's telling me this is a short, fade the gap. But at the same time, I'm thinking... Everyone that kind of knows how to trade is thinking that same thing. Let's fade the gap. But 
there's so much emotions in the market and so much short interest in it as well that if too much emotion comes in to buy, we can easily uh, squeeze you know, onto a new high or something. So I thought to myself, um, let's hold on and see what happens here. We start to get that nice little bounce there. My trade starts to go green. I start to get ready to put out one uh, order. Just write out the order to sell at least one contract uh, as we start to push off of this zone, off of this level. So I start to get ready there at ten, you know, ten dollars and forty cents to put out one contract. That's almost a dollar, almost a hundred bucks there. And I'll still have two, which can easily make me, you know, another two, three. No, not two. Like another three or four hundred dollars on those two easily. And then, and then it's, it's like, oh no. I mean, this is fine. This is fine. You know, we got this 90 MA crossing over VWAP now. Now we want to see it hold support. Okay, this is fine. But I'm looking at the SPY at the same time. Watch this action. We come right back down there. I don't like that too much. And at this very same time, the SPY goes to garbage. And you see we're down there breaking underneath the, the zone. So I bang out of it right there. And look at that. We're already at $8.80, 865 835 I got out of that at 901 Let's see here. What's this next count? This next video. I did another recording here. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, to show you the spy. Look, there it is at the same time. That is exactly why I got out of that position as soon as I saw the action. There's no telling how low it's going to go at that point. What's this video? Okay, so yeah, there it is. 901 exit. So that's it. Now look, we bounced off of this uh, 38.2. Came back up here and now we're holding. Uh, it's, it, it, I'm telling you, BA is really strong, you know, relative to SPY. So it has a lot of relative strength over to the overall market. Uh, SPY still grinding down, downwards. But that's probably going to be it for me today. I got to go work on the other projects. So down 170 bucks to end the week. Not, not a happy camper with that, but it's okay. It's been a decent week. Uh, looking forward to next week. Let's see what happens. My futures broker is still not active. Like the live money is still not in there. This ACH is taking a while. I don't understand why ACHs take so long. It's ridiculous. Um, but it is what it is. Waiting on that to go live. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to continue tinkering with the simulator mode there uh, in my off time. And uh, that's it, guys. Remember to check out the links in the description section below to Webull. Subscribe to the channel. When you download Webull, you get two free stocks when you fund your account with $100. Smash the like button for me. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I drop my next video. And I hope you have a great weekend. Catch you on the next one.